All right, man, here's what happened. So uh, we recorded a show last week and we had Scott on and it was two hours of creamy podcast goodness. Now, even though the shows are kind of long, sometimes I truncate the silence and the shows are shorter by the time they get to you. Um, But while listening to the playback, uh, just to line everything up and make sure everything was right. I realized that there's some sort of audio glitch thing going on in the show. And um, I only really noticed it with me because I remember what I said, but there are words that are being skipped. Uh, and so I don't, and I, it was in the original recording. So I, it might be my recording software. I don't know what exactly it is, but this show isn't, complete now I was able to follow it because but then again I was there so I know what I was saying and I know what was being said to me so I understand if you don't want to subject yourself to try to figure out where the pauses are happening and what was actually being said um so if you have a problem with audio glitches you might want to skip this one because I don't know how many there are I just know that in the short amount of the show that I heard, um, there's a, a at least a decent amount and it's possibly throughout the whole show. So, um, so just if, if that doesn't work for you, then you can sit this one out and we'll be back in your ear next week. And, 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 um, we have a new intro. Shout out to the homie Layback for Life who sent me a new intro and we're going to get that popping next week. Um, for all of y'all who are st- are sticking around and going to try to gut, the, you know, just try to get through this thing anyway. Uh, thank you very much. I didn't want to just get rid of the show because there was some really good podcast creamy goodness there. And um, I really want you to hear it. But I just know that there are audio glitches in this thing. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully I'm going to try to uh, see if there's uh, anything that I can do to prevent this thing from happening further. I don't know whether it's a problem with my new mic or anything else. So we're going to get it. We're going to get that thing popping and we're going to get this show going and we're going to get it right. I'm going to make sure that it's right before the next show. Thank you all for listening. Holla at your boy. going on fam uh, not much man so i got t- tomorrow off i was like oh, i can probably record a podcast I'm like what's going on yeah i have i have short days on fridays now because i go to work so early i go into work like a half an hour to an hour early so i have so i i gotta cut that time down so I, um so normally i just i just leave early on fridays yeah, I'm on a concert tomorrow night, so I'm like, yeah, I'm taking a day off. <laughs> you going? You going to one white people concerts? Yeah, very white people. Billy Joel. Billy Joel. <laughs> yep. The fuck? <laughs> man, the dude's like almost seventy years old. I got to see him before he dies, man. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. White people.
Like it's, I, I mean, it's that's definitely a white people thing. Is that they ain't got nothing to do with us? Because ain't yeah. no way in hell, ain't no way in hell. I'm like, I'm, you know, I got this. I got it. Well, in life, in my life, I would ever utter the words, "I have to see Billy Joel before he dies." Like that is not some <laughs> shit I would ever utter in life. <laughs> What's up, guys? Yeah. What's up, Holmes? Not too much. Just you know, hanging out. You know, coming into the Billy Joel party. Yeah, this dude told me so. He going to see Billy Joel tomorrow. I'm gonna go see Boris tomorrow. Who the fuck is Boris? They're a Japanese sludge metal band. I'll just listen to anything. Yep. <laughs> the lot of you. I might be going to Cincinnati next month to go see uh, Drew Hill and who is it? One Twelve and next. Okay, is, is, is all of Drew Hill gonna be there? <laughs> like that's the question. Like, is all of them gonna be there? Because every time they try to get together, somebody somebody don't want to do it. I said last time I heard they're recording a new album finally. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be trash. Like, you know, one twelve just came out uh, is coming out with a new album, and they got Jagged Edge on a on a track. Like, yeah, yeah. Have you heard it? Yeah, I got I listened to that whole album. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's 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 okay. I mean, it's. <sighs> You know, so they saying they're trying to, you know, sound have like the newer sound to it. It's like, no, that's not what you guys are. You right. guys are nineties R and B. Sound like nineties R and B. Like be like like be yourself. Like, um that's what happened. I was watching this um documentary on New Edition at the time that the movie came and um they were talking about how when they signed with Puff, they thought everything was gonna be straight, like they was gonna finally get their money. And life was going to be really good. And then they realized that Puff wanted them to sound like one toy. <laughs> and it was like, well, we're, we're, we're like old. Like, what are you doing? And so they, so they ended up getting out of that contract real quick. And they ended up. Well, right I'm surprised. So I'm surprised this next actually has RL in it. It's like, Oh, he back. <laughs> yeah. It's like after the, the unsung showed is like oh i gotta go make that money yeah I, we're getting popular from this unsung, unsung shit so it's like oh, I really, back together i really was on a streaming service uh, like it was they need to put unsung on netflix or some shit because i yeah. would really like that i would really like to watch those but like of course like i have cody but you know all that the, you know if it's like some black people shit like ain't nobody on like putting that shit out there like i'll go to i'll find unsung and then i'll try to play some and it's just like nah ain't nobody streaming this shit it's like bruh what did you do because i was looking at this concert i was like next i was like i don't want to rl because they released the album that like they just redid all their songs but without rl and it's like uh this ain't this don't sound like next and i was looking into it and it's like oh he, he's back with him chase lost you know that right <laughs> yeah yeah i'm pretty lost yeah because they and <laughs> I'm talking about R&B, dog. You, you, you try to like put me in a pigeonhole just you, because I, you, I mean, just you, because you're, I didn't you're, grew up on R&B. You're, you're like, so what am I trying to do other than say that your thing is metal, right? Okay, that's your thing, right? Am I wrong? Is there anything wrong about that statement? Your you, what your listening preference is metal. <laughs> My listening preference is. Uh, Whatever I feel like listening to, so sometimes I'll go like weeks without listening to metal. So. Have you have you heard that new crit yet? Do you I even know who crit is? But like, I got a crit in a JRPG. No, <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. That new crit is that new crit is flames, sir. I mean, it is flames. I actually, because um, we were talking about RZA and stuff, and I went back and actually listened to that whole um, Grave Diggers album. Bruh, let me tell you. Oh, I mean, we need to start the show. You know what? I'm just going to call this a running start because we we started it, and then we just started actually talking. Um, I think Wu-Tang's got a new album coming out. I did. I did. I went and I listened to the new Wu-Tang album. Oh, you did? Yes. It is very, very Wu-Tang, but it's weird because it's so many where there's like just one or two of them on the song Mm -hmm. and it's just it's just kind of weird like but there's there's some there's some there's some wu-tang heat up there like you know like it's it sounds it sounds like the wu-tang you know and love and that's the that's the that's the cool thing about it but because it sounds like the wu-tang you know and love kind of sounds old it Which I'm cool, cool with because I like that. Uh, I mean, I think you you guys were. Um, I'm not sure you about, but you were talking about like the boom clot 
or something about how like a lot of it sounded to, to me it, it's like when it sounds like real drums sort of like they would use like samples of rather than you know electronic beats and stuff and a lot of the older stuff did that and i like that right. and um so when it sounds, you, you know, that's why I like stuff like Jurassic Five and it's really that old. It still sounds old, and yeah, that ain't my thing. I don't know. I, I never could get down. I I don't really okay. I don't really listen to um, a lot of that's that California shit, right? Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's just, to, I don't listen to a lot of West Coast stuff at all. Like, just, it does. It doesn't. It doesn't reach me for some reason. Like, mm-hmm. there's like a song or two here and there that I will dig. But I can't listen to a whole album of that shit. I don't know what it is. Which is weird because, like, one, you know, Nasty loves West Coast music. Loves it. Like, he thinks, like, like for real, Rashani thinks that E-40 is one of the greats. Greats, I tell you. Like, he believes that E-40 is one of the greats. Like, you don't get all the way the fuck out of here with that shit. That is a ridiculous <laughs> fucking statement, sir. <clears throat> um, I, I kind of second on that. That is a ridiculous fucking statement, but he, <laughs> but he believes that E forty is one of the greats. Now, Short Dog is I I one hundred percent that I one hundred percent believe that. I love the fact that Short Dog is Short Dog no matter which era he's in. Like when he was in the Crunk <laughs> era, when he was in the Crunk era, you got all this Crunk shit happening around him, and he's the fucking same. He ain't changed a damn thing. Like he he was still himself, and I fucking love that shit. I love that shit about Short. Too short, but um. But man, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, since the Big Crate album came out on Friday, it's a double album. The first, the the first half is the Big Crit that those of us who listen to Big Crit know and love. Um, you know, uh, Southern rap superstar, basically Southern rap. Star. Um, the second half, uh, he called is the the Justin Scott side, which is that's his real name, and it's very personal, and it's very um, you know, it's about like the things that he goes through and like what, what he went through as you know, as far as these last few years, because of course he was on a major label at one point and that didn't go very well. And you know, like all of this, you know, all of this stuff. And he said that he, he's been working on this album for two years and it sounds like he's been working on this shit for two years. He sound he hasn't sounded this hungry in a long time. And like the album itself is flames. Like it is, I mean, it's just from beginning to end. I, I, there's there's songs that I like more, but I don't I don't so far I have not found a song that's like an instant skip. Uh, that's that's rare nowadays. Yeah. So I forgot I ain't turn my I ain't turn my volume down. My bad. Um, but I haven't found a song that's an instant skip. The only song that's close to being an instant skip is the intro to the second side because the intro to the second side is uh, it's an instrumental. It's not anyone like rapping he's he's not rapping on or anything it's all instrumental so that would be the only thing that that would come close to a skip for me but other than that that shit is flames i think you should i i think you should try that shit out chase nice because you're you, you know it's 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 sudden rap at its finest bro <laughs> and it ain't that shit that's it, it ain't that shit that's on the radio like he actually has like supreme skill and like while listening to this album i'm like I mean, like I've, some of these things that he's going through, like I've felt those before, but I don't know how the fuck, like how, you know, like his, his, his talent is like one of those things where you just like, I could never think to put this, put my, my thoughts into these words. Even if I've had some of the same thoughts, I don't know if I could put my thoughts into a rap and be able to accurately, um, um, what's the word? accurately express what i'm actually feeling mm-hmm. and he's able to do that very well um i said this on us but one of my favorite songs from him is a song called something and it's a it's an al green sample and like the way he is he is not like the sample is just playing in the background or that the sample is the hook he is actually his words in and out of the sample itself well well what we would do back then is um it, our little kind of <laughs> i guess film writing music was you know the lyrics are kind of what we wanted to say but the music is what we wanted you know that's the feeling you know what i mean because you can't really put that to words as much so you 
The you, only you the only person it. the only person that I've ever heard, uh, especially as a rapper, that could actually put the feeling and the emotion into his words and make you feel what he's feeling. That's Tupac, and that's the reason why people love Tupac. Like, he, mm-hmm. like you could re- you could really feel what Tupac is feeling at that moment. If he's angry, you for all of a sudden you're like, why the fuck am I mad? <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like if if he's feeling like uh, appreciative of his mom, you like you know what? You right. Even though she she's a black queen, that's true. Even though like my mama want no want no crack fiend, but you know what? I feel that shit, dog. And that's why like that's why people really fuck with Tupac like that. I am not a Tupac fan personally. I know of somebody that might need to listen to some of those songs. Huh? Who, who are you Nothing. talking about? <laughs> I'm not going. Um, I shouldn't even go there, but um, but yeah, uh, I um, I, I should get that album that you were just talking about a try because um, ex- it's, actually it's, around this it's time, it's on Spotify, I believe. I I listen to it on Google on um, Google Music. Cool, because around this time, I actually kind of I don't know in the autumn, I I kind of go back to some of the more hip hop stuff I like and Dave Matthews. I don't know, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> But yeah, they drop they drop so, shit on people, dog. How you how you gonna how you gonna rap for 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 a crew that's, that that drop shit on people, dog? They Matthews. They drop shit on people, bro. <laughs> Straight shit on people. You don't know what I'm talking about? The um no. <laughs> Apparently, um, they decided they were going over a river or something like that, and they decided to empty the tank from their tour bus. And there was a some sort of like a tourist uh, boat attraction going under the bridge, uh-huh. and they literally dropped shit on people. I'll look it up. But um, when when I was when I was in this when I was in the um when I was in the eleventh and twelfth grade, I was taking a class uh, with some people from different schools. But one of the dudes from um one of the dudes my television production class um one of the dudes was like. Gaga over Dave Matthews. He was a drummer, and he that the drummer for Dave Matthews uh, was the best drummer ever. Like he had like VHSs of this dude like practicing and shit. Like it was really crazy. People who people who like Dave Matthews really like Dave Matthews. Yeah, I, I mean, I dig Dave Matthews. A lot of people talk some mad shit on Dave Matthews, uh, and I, I think it, it mostly has to do with he had some really big singles, and most most people associate. Dave Matthews with, you know, listening John Mayer type shit, even though actually John Mayer's actually a pretty talented dude himself. Yes. But the, um, but Bro, they the associated groove, the groove, with. Uh, he's the one that did the Waiting on the World to Change joint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that. The groove in that song is so serious. But, but yeah, my favorite Dave Matthews song is the one with, um, I'm, I'm my farting on the name right now, but the, uh, uh the Crowded Streets, it's, it's just such a well-rounded album to where it's like, um, <laughs> there's like angry shit to where like your metalhead would like be all about it. You know what I mean? And okay. it, like you said, the drummer is, he is pretty freaking insane. And, but yeah, um, I don't know. It's just, I listened to that album and I was listening to that album and I was listening to Kanye's first album. I don't know. And I'm just kind of going back to some older stuff that I listened to. So I've been much metal lately. Okay. I um yeah I've been I've been listening to a little bit I'm trying um and then um I have been I've been listening to some mixes from DJ Cleave um he is a, a DJ he tours uh, he travels around to go to different places and stuff like that but he but on Thursday nights he does a mix um and it's usually like old school like R&B and stuff like that and some you know some hip hop um like he really you know he really does his thing and i really enjoy his music and like my one of my favorite things to work out to is his new jack swing mix his new jack mm-hmm. swing mix is amazing it's amazing yeah, you were talking about that like earlier in the year like yeah i mean to that this. like every time if 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 especially if i'm driving and i ain't really got nothing to listen to and especially if i'm driving with my girl um, I definitely will listen to that um, because it's something that we both we can both just sing along and just kind of groove and just have a ball because New Jack Swing is fucking amazing, but New Jack Swing is also what killed R&B. Um, so, yeah, that happened. 
<laughs> okay, but, well, for everyone, everyone that's listening right now, this is Scarcasm Live. I know that we um just running start like the whole Billy Joel thing just kind of threw me for a loop. So welcome, <laughs> um, you know, Chase and Scott are both in the building, <clears throat> and yep. um, and we just gonna keep this thing rolling. Like we gonna keep it right. Um, I apologize. Look, I've been sick. I'm still sick. Um, so then, okay. So here's the thing. I didn't listen to the last show. I never listened to shows. Have 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 either of you listened to the last show? I I, I never listened to the shows, but I did listen to the last one because how terrible and I'm going to be sounding on this motherfucker because I didn't really remember much from mm-hmm. it. I just knew that I was drinking. <laughs> um, because here's the thing that was happening when I was having coughing fits. Oh yeah, that didn't get. Yeah, because what I noticed was. Um, I muted, I muted my microphone in Skype, but the recording software was still picking up my microphone. Mm-hmm. So, well, I, so I was I wondering if that came through on the call, but I heard it on the recording, but that, that was one of my biggest slurring things of trying to, trying to explain, uh, Monica Magica while I was really, <laughs> <laughs> the, um, fair. <laughs> oh, that really that really sucks because I totally I totally muted my microphone while I was having those coughing fits. So that's why I said you didn't know you didn't notice at all. But I was coughing my ass off through that whole show, and my, yeah. and I saw my mic moving, and I was like, shit, did that actually get recorded? Apparently, the word is the is yes. But I mean, I wasn't gonna not put out the show. But I mean, I told people yeah. at, the, at the beginning I was sick. I'm still kind of sick. I'm kind of getting. I'm I'm on the I'm on the other side of it, but it's still bothering me a little. Bit. Um, but I'm trying to make sure that I'm straight because um I'll have my daughter this weekend. It's nice. Gonna, it's gonna be fun because I haven't I haven't I haven't seen my daughter since she went home uh, in August. So. Now they have someone to clean your house. Nah. I don't, I don't even look. I don't even clean my house. Like I live by myself. I clean up what I need to clean up, and ain't I ain't gonna clean up no more than what I need to clean up at times. If I'm not gonna do it, why would I ask you to do it? Like that's that's that would be kind of fucked up of me, right? <laughs> yeah, that was the joke, but <laughs> yeah, I ain't that, I ain't that kind. I ain't that kind of dude. Like I ain't gonna be like you know. I, what I would do is I would say, okay, we need to take a few minutes and we need to clean up. See, I would do it with her, but I ain't gonna make her do it. Right. And like it would be really kind of fucked up if I go get her for the weekend. I ain't seen her in a couple months. And then I'd be like, yeah, we're going to clean up. Like, <laughs> like, it's just like, I mean, I know you, you hanging out with dad and shit, but like, come on, man. That would be a fucked up dad thing to do. You're a good dad, Scar. I try. Yeah. Hey, you're better than me. I'd like, clean this, <laughs> clean this, clean this. Yeah. I mean, the, the, here's the thing. Um, so my daughter's having some problems at school. Mm-hmm. And I think I may have gave her the wrong advice. I told her um, oh. because in school and the kids are not being very nice. Yeah, I see something about that on Facebook. Yeah, it was um, like really. Well, I don't, I don't know, you know, because I can't, I can't see that. Yeah, story. but um, <laughs> but the kids are not being very nice. But they're they're just like do stupid shit. Like they're not really like like fighting her or anything like that they're just doing dumb shit like you know she gets home and then she realized somebody put raisins all in her hoodie um you know like shit like that mm-hmm. you know um that type of stuff oh shit oh. <coughs> ain't no point of me mutant if it's if it's still gonna fucking record it right but right. um so i told her so i told her i said you know you're I said, you're a lot like me right she was like yes and i said so when you go to school, just be me. That's probably a bad idea. <laughs> because so gonna... you know what? Fuck fucking PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it was one of those things where someone was someone was talking about her and my my first response was, Yo mama bitch. Like and and I said that while talking to her, like they said this to you, and my response would be, Yo mama bitch. Um and I was like, well, you should be me when you go to school. But, like, if she, your mama bitches somebody, like, see, here's the thing. I don't think I would feel bad about it. Like, because those little fuckers deserve it. Yep. Uh-huh. But, like, if she gets in trouble, like, if she gets in trouble in school or something like that, then, you know, it makes her look bad. I mean, <laughs> I would be proud. <laughs> Damn it. All this, all this coughing just all of a sudden just came on. Motherfucker. 
Um, but yeah, and then you don't also. I heard she's you know she was saying bitch in class, and she said, you know, she said you you know. My daddy told me to stand up for me or something. She's like, did you tell her to say that? And then, you know, then that's like a confrontation you probably didn't really want. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. like, no, yeah. one of those. I had one of those. So here's the thing. I was talking to my daughter and I was, you know, we were talking about that situation. And I said, uh-huh. uh, you know, do you want me to uh, do you want me to show up and start punching kids in the face? And then I started to about, I think at the very least, I can take on at least 10 at a time. I mean, they're fourth graders. You know what I mean? Like, (laughs) you know, like, so I, so I am, I am doing it and I'm laughing while I'm talking. Like, I'm like, really, like, I'm really joking. And my girlfriend did this because she was in the room, but I was, you know, I was talking on the phone with, uh, with my daughter. And, um, so I get off the phone with my daughter and after a couple minutes, um, my ex sends me a message that says, you told your daughter that you would show up and punch 10 kids. I was like, fuck. (laughs) <laughs> Cause she she believed me, she mm-hmm. <laughs> she believed that I would show up and punch ten kids. But I think that's that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? If she believes yeah. that, if, if she believes that her dad is willing to show up to her school and punch ten kids. That like that's ten at mm-hmm. I, well I I said ten at a time. <laughs> I said ten at a time. So let's be clear, not just ten kids, ten at a time. But if she believes that I could possibly do that, that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? <laughs> I'm asking you fuckers to validate me in this. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I play the field. You know, you fucking jerks. <laughs> <laughs> so, so both of you are saying that if your kid was having some issues in school, you wouldn't threaten to show up and beat up kids. I would probably not want not to nowadays. Threaten. That gets out gets out the wrong people. I was joking. She didn't think I was joking, but I was joking. You know, all but, these people being joking, but then they won't think you're joking and it's everything's just so like um i don't know i think just i a, think what i would do is i would sh- i would show up there with a mean mug on my face and my um uh, my halo jacket and i'll probably end up with a few new friends <laughs> yeah that that, it, it, that that reminds me of a little story i went up to my son's school have lunch with him and i was wearing a um old call of duty sheet t-shirt and after i got done with that lunch or whatnot i was like i am never wearing a call of duty t-shirt to this school ever again. i was like oh my god call of duty call of duty i was like holy shit shut the fuck up Please, leave me alone. and i it was just a it was just a random you know it was like a it's like a black op shirt you know you know yeah, i just so you, put weren't, you weren't thinking people. about it in advance you just was like i'm just you know i guess i wear this shirt i got on yeah <laughs> so yeah I definitely make sure I Call of Duty. <laughs> but um and how how old is your son? He's nine. So So him and Pooh Bear are the same age. Right. Okay. Um when does he turn ten? One month. You don't have to say this but Oh, um uh, in May. Okay. So 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 Pooh Bear is right you know, a l- little bit before him. Okay. Um Scott, how old is your oldest? My oldest is fourteen. <clears throat> I'm <sorry. laughs> Because oh, when my nephew hit that age, he started. Um, he found he found internet porn. Oh, uh, and uh, fun times <clears throat> in my sister's household um, because they only have one bathroom. Uh, <laughs> fun times. So yeah, his mom just got on my phone too, so I'm afraid for that. <laughs> well, I bought my daughter a phone. <laughs> I bought Here's my daughter a do. phone, but I but I, I was. Here's what I did, because I caught my daughter looking for some stuff that she wasn't supposed to. But it was basically it was I found out later that it was her trying to figure it out because an older kid that they hung out with around home was trying to tell them about it. You know, that like that type of stuff. So she was looking yeah. up stuff. But she was looking up stuff if he understood. Like she was looking for like sex mods in the Sims because she really likes playing the Sims. So she was looking up sex mods in the Sims and I'm like, What are you doing? <laughs> like that type of thing um but because i gave her i gave her a phone um you know gave her an android phone and i created and set up the password for her google account like i can go on like parents this is something that you need to know and i think i've said this before but um if she doesn't know how to type they're probably going to voice search everything you can actually play back all of their voice searches it, re- it actually records them and stores them under their um, search settings. Yeah, because my son to do all that. Because his big thing is, 
like <laughs> horror stuff, which, you know, when, see, that's the thing where it's different. When we were younger, man, we, I, I mean, I was watching like all the Friday the 13th movies in like fifth grade, you know what I mean? But now, it's like, you know, if he goes to school and talks about Freddy Krueger or something, we're, we're getting investigated because, <laughs> right. you know. Yeah, but, um, why does your child know about Freddy Krueger? <clears throat> But he also, he, he like, fixates on things. So instead of being like, oh, well, Freddy Krueger's cool, I like the movie, and whatnot, whatever. But he's never seen the movies. But then if he gets in his mind Freddy Krueger, that's all he's thinking about. And he'll, like, <laughs> you know, and it's, like, I, I think it's just because he isn't allowed, though. He'll just, like, think about it and just, like, be, like, every page on the notebook drawing Freddy Krueger hands and stuff like that. Kind of like but, how um, I was when I came up with my screen name. Mm-hmm. When I came up with my screen name, I had never seen Scarf. So I didn't know that I was talking about a criminal when I called myself Scarfinger. Like, even though I do have a Scarfinger, um, uh-huh. you know, like, you know, I have a, you know, for people who heard me say it before, I have a, I have a scar that runs down the entire length of my left, um, you know, because I ripped it on a fence when I was a little kid, and it's never, it's never going to heal all the way. Um, so it's never going to look normal, but you know, I thought Scarface, Scarfinger, I have a scarred finger, this kind of sound. And I mm-hmm. know that people like people referenced Scarface in like the music that I was listening to and all of this other stuff. So I just thought it was something that, that sounded cool. I didn't know that I was basically aligning myself with a criminal, you know, just know what I had been told. Right. But yeah, so that's the thing. Like, and, and he'll search up. Um, pictures of things and and like stuff like if if he he'll just and, and the voice searches are very good like even with his like slurring speech you know he'd be like Freddy Krueger killing pictures and there's Freddy Krueger killing pictures you know what I mean <laughs> so so yeah but yeah it, he's not to where he's like looking up dirty stuff but it's normally like and then right around here we're like okay. You know, he wants to be like Jason or you know, Ghost Eddie Kruger. I mean, and we go to like a lot of like church trunk or treats. I'm like, no, you're going, <laughs> you're, you're you're going to be um like like last year he was um Master Chief and this what was I don't even remember. <laughs> it was just like last that was like a couple days crazy. ago. Yeah, I know. Um, what the hell was? He? Oh, he was um he was Darth Vader. That's why I didn't remember because it was you know he's. He's really into Darth Vader. Like, he really he, was some he, anime he, yeah. shit I, ne- I never heard of. <laughs> I, I probably had heard of it, but that's sad. Probably she was a she was a um she had basically uh, her version of a girl outfit with swords on her back. Like that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was probably just a, a generic um anime person. I think so. I think <laughs> so. And then like she had her she had her mom get her a backpack. Um, like a little sand, um, mm. but, uh, but her mom does uh, thirty one, so she had the character's name embroidered into the back the backpack thing. Yeah, I still don't know what the character's name is. But yeah, yeah I, um, I got my two year old fascinated with Jason for playing the Friday Thirteenth game, so he likes to watch the deaths. And he's just like <laughs> he's like people die, people die. I was like, oh great, <laughs> you're a terrible father. Like uh, worse than what I did. Like seriously, like like, like let's let's examine this. Let's discuss. Um, that sounds like something really terrible to do. Like I had a um, I had a I had a partner when I was a uh, long time ago for a company called Teletech. Um, and he let his son play Halo, and he was he's you know so he played he, he played Halo with him, and they played some multiplayer. You know, with just like the two of them and stuff like that, yeah. just kind of messing up. But his son, you know, he actually played through some of the game with his son. Uh, his son was like five or six or something like that. So he was just playing Halo with his son, and he said one day um, he was uh, to a noise, and he was trying to figure out what the noise was. So he got up and looked, and he saw his son in the hallway, sleepwalking, running from. Um, What's it? The the what are, what are the bad guys called in Halo? Thing right now, the Covenant. Oh, the, the Covenant. Yeah, the yes, Covenant. his son. His son was uh, imagining he was Master Chief running from the Covenant um, while sleepwalking, and he realized, "Yep, yeah, um, let me go ahead and um, let me get you up." 
<laughs> yeah, it depends on the kid. Really. I, I mean, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, they're just – I mean, I know when you, you have a little boy and you're like yeah, – especially when you're like, I can't wait to play games with them. But you got to be patient to where you're like – because even if you say, oh, Halo is really not, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not like really bloody. It's not really, but right. I mean, but it's still, you know, shooting and things like that. And you could count on, you know, at five or six, even nine, they might not be ready for, because with us, it, it was the technology, you know, the technology, it's like Halo come out right when I was, you know, a t- could play Halo, you know what I mean? Call of Duty come out when I could play Call of Duty. So every, there was, was none of this adult. stuff out when I was, I was young. I was an adult with a job. I had to pay for all of this shit myself. <laughs> Fucking jerk. Well, well, I had to pay for all my shit too, sir. <laughs> Fucking young people, man. I had to, I'm not that I went much younger. I went and got a fucking payday loan to buy my my Xbox. Like that's ridiculous. I'm in my 30s. You're in your 30s. I mean, we, we say almost, we're the same. I'm almost in my 40s, bro. Well, I'm almost in my <sighs> mid 30s. <laughs> <laughs> See, that realization hit me over there. Like, shit, I'm almost 40 years old, and I haven't done nothing with my life. I know, right? Like, <laughs> seriously, I'm 38. Um, I turned 38 in September, and I'm like, "What the fuck have I done with my life? Like, this is ridiculous." Like, I, like I, I looked at myself in the mirror and was like, "I'm ashamed of you." Like, <laughs> seriously, you fucking did. You, what the fuck have you done with yourself? But um, but then I got then I got this job, and now I have all of this fucking responsibility, and I'm like, "You fucking asshole! Why did you get us into this?" <laughs> so I have my moments up and down. I did, I did. However, um. I was I was so worried um, because I get bonuses, but it depends on how much money I bring in, right? Mm-hmm. How much I have three levels to my bonus right now, um, and once once I'm consistently above those, they may add a different tier. Um, but I was like the last couple of days of the month, I was like two thousand below my goal, my 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 initial goal. And I was like, fuck, I'm not even going to get a bonus. My first month, and I'm not even going to get a bonus. Man, let me tell you, I was grinding. I, was, I called everybody. I called every fucking phone number I could. I'd be like, I need you to come pay your bill. It was like, oh, no, I can pay you on Friday. No, bitch, I need you to come pay this shit today. Today. <laughs> Like I just, I just kept doing that. Like I need you to pay this today. I was, te- I was telling people, okay, yeah, I'm gonna auction your shit off tomorrow. Like, like I was doing everything I could. I ain't get my top level, but I ended up getting the middle level, and I'm okay with that. But man, I was grinding for the for the last the last couple of days. It was rough. So you've been watching anything, man? Um, let's start with Scott because you know, yeah, Scott, you've been watching anything, man? <laughs> oh yeah. I've been watching a lot of stuff. So let me start off with the the deep stuff first. So I said at work one day, I was like, you know, I, I want to watch a documentary on lunch. 15th, 13th on Netflix. And that no, shit just pissed me off. No, I, I, I knew better. I heard people talking about it. And I was like, you know what? Nope. I ain't fucking with that shit at all. Like I had people even about. I was like, no, nah, fuck that shit. I'm out. What's it about? It's about the 13th Amendment. Like how basically, like, yeah, it abolished slavery, but it kind of, like, led to different forms of slavery with, mm-hmm. you know, the... Yeah, it's, and, it's, a, it's, it abolished slavery, but there's a little clause on the back end that basically said we can, we can skip all of this shit if they're in prison. We can do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> so... It's like how much... Is how the same day that they... <laughs> I know it's not, but it'd be funny if it was the same day that they made it marijuana illegal. <laughs> Probably, but you know. but go, go ahead, Scott. You got it. It's, it's like just watch it. Just keep getting more pissed off, more pissed off, and then it gets to one point where it starts showing like the Trump rallies mm-hmm. when like there would be you know black protesters there and the people would push them and shit like that. Well, they would intercut that in with. Like there's a famous uh, uh, film of like this black guy walking and all these white people are pushing him <clears throat> and they're like cutting in between like pushing into this. And it just it is like so heartbreaking. It's like uh, I just 
Yeah, that, I, like, see, I see some of that on Facebook around the time. Also, is the, the the crazy shit is what was happening in, and they were in intercutting that with like the the police and like dogs and shit from like the sixties, and it looked exactly yeah. the same. Yeah, that's what this was. It's like you know, it's just this older black gentleman. He's just walking, and these you know white people are just pushed. He's not retaliating or nothing, and it's just like. It's like hey, he's he's a better man than I am. Is I uh, <clears throat> yeah, I yeah. I, I mean, all of them are better people than than I could. Yeah, because I would I would I mean I would just be dead. Like because I I don't I don't. Well, when you're in that situation, like there's a level of fear that comes with being black in a place surrounded people. Like there's a level of fear that even I feel. Like if if I go somewhere with my girlfriend and there's no other black people there, I am instantly afraid. Like seriously, I am afraid. People still look me, um, like why the fuck are you here? Like that type of stuff. That shit happens. And I had a I had a moment the other day when we went to Walmart. We went to Walmart, and like I said, most of my like really horrible shit happens at Walmart. But I was, uh, we were going into Walmart and these two older white ladies were leaving Walmart. They saw her with me and she wasn't paying attention, but they looked at her in disgust. Fuck is wrong with you? Like she didn't catch it, but I did. Like, like I totally saw that. Like they were looking at her like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why the fuck are you with that nigger? Like, like really that was the look that they were giving her. And that shit happens all the time. Like it is really bad. Like and there's there's like I said, there's a level of fear that I I can't describe how just fucked up it is when I walk into a place and there is no other. Person. Like I said, there's a there's a restaurant in Hampton that I will never go to again because I every time I walk in that place I feel like Shrek when he went to far far away. Like it's it's almost like the moment I open the door, jukebox skip. Like that's how fucking bad it is. Damn. Yeah, some similar like that happened to Amber, man. <laughs> the um that with well, your girlfriend, but it was actually with she was with Greg, and this was when she was pregnant with Aiden. <clears throat> and they Greg and Charlotte have foster kids, and the the they got these ones that were were babies when, in like around two thousand seven, two thousand eight, or so. <laughs> And they were mixed, right? So she was with Greg at Walmart. He had, she had um, little Greg with her. She was pregnant, and she was with Greg. And people were looking at her like she was with Greg, you know, and just like so. Greg, so Greg's uh, brother. Yeah, okay. you remember? Remember when we were there? Huh? That, that, that's her stepdad. Remember? Oh, that Greg. That okay? I got you. I got you. Yeah. So, so she she felt really uncomfortable. Because people are like looking at her with like absolute disgust for for one that she was, <laughs> you know, like thirty years younger than them. But the um that mostly that you know she was white <laughs> and yeah. he was not. <laughs> I listened to a podcast with um the homie Sugar Free. Um, he used to be on um the uh post game report. Um, yeah, does, RIP post game report. Yeah, RIP. <laughs> Um, yeah, we spoke about that a little bit last week. Um, he um, he does a podcast with his sister um, called Mark Mark All That Apply, and mm-hmm. um, they they have a unique situation where they are uh, they are biracial children. Um, their father is white, their mother is black. And she said that uh, his his sister Jeanette, which is which, which is kind of weird because Jeanette completely identifies with her blackness. Like uh-huh. She acknowledges the fact that she's mixed, but she is she is more she is more black than the, she considers herself more black than her brother. So it's kind of a weird dichotomy listening to the two of them talk, and then like listening to him who has never like never truly embraced his black side, um, move to Atlanta. <laughs> and, oh. you know like um but but you know is but the, the podcast is called mark mark all that um but she said that she was out somewhere i can't remember where she said she was and um she was with her father and she said that she called him daddy out in public 
and a black woman there in disgust. Like, how dare you call that white man daddy? And she was like, no, that's my actual father, you bitch. Like, I mean, those are, this, that ain't her words, but that's basically what she meant. Like, that's my father, you bitch. Like, th- what do you know? But like, she, you know, like she was catching it. She was catching it from the other side. It wasn't someone white looking down on her. It was someone black looking down on her because she called her father daddy. And they thought that it was more of a, you know, you know more of a, like a sexual thing. Yeah. Um, but she was talking to her actual father and it was just kind of a weird situation. Um, I, I really enjoy that podcast, even though, um, every time I've commented on anything, no one has ever responded to me, but, um, I'm, I'm not at all. Not at all. <laughs> um, but, um, we just totally like, um, like that got some, with what you watch in section. <laughs> I mean, it, it gets worse because that, that brought me into another thing. It's, it's uh, it's not a show on Netflix. It's called time. The Khalif Browner story. Bruh. And that's some fucked up shit. That is totally some fucked up shit. And I think, I think Jay Z wants to do a movie about it, like a movie movie about it. I think he was, he secured the rights and he's trying to get a movie made about that. Yeah. He was in the, that documentary show about it, but it's, uh, for people who don't know, it's about this. Uh, it was a 16 year old who was on probation for a uh, for something. Oh, he gets ID'd for a still in the backpack, and supposedly it wasn't him. I mean, they never proved it was him or not. But mm-hmm. <clears throat> some he was stuck in for three years before he even got a like trial, and he spent half that time in solitary confinement, and it really like fucked with his head. It's like. It's just some fucked up shit. Like they actually have like See, videos from inside the prison when he was getting jumped, and like you know, be like thirty inmates, and it'd just be one guard, and he, like that he, one guard couldn't do anything. And he he made he through all of it, he maintained his innocence, and with him so bad, he ended up taking his own life. Yep. But even if he wasn't innocence, innocence, if he 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 would have just stole a backpack. Yep. They, it's the, right. It's the thing like the you know like. You know, like what 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 they say, like you you and I can get charged with the exact same crime, and I can go away for a very long time. Um, thing happened in Houston, where the people got caught looting, and like um the the a white dude that got caught looting got like um two years probation. And a black dude caught looting got 15 years. Like, at the same time, it was the same place, but they both got vastly different crimes. I mean, both d- vastly different time for their crimes. But it's like with the whole probation, with him being on probation, that's what, like, he, his family was trying to get bail money for him. But then the probation came back down since he was already a, you know, a con- convicted uh, felon or whatever. It denied his bail. So, like, the... The uh, was it the DA office just kept you know pushing the case back, pushing the case back because they couldn't. The witness was a Hispanic guy and he went back down to South America, so they couldn't get a hold of him, so they kept delaying the trial. Hmm. Yeah, it is just, it was just a whole. I mean, it's just like I can't believe they're like, doing that to people, man. It's just like yeah. and it happens and, every day. And it wasn't even like like he stole a backpack and they sent him to Rikers, fucking Rikers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like you know like like what um, Michael Vick like Michael Vick got the you know the dog fighting thing and for most people that's a misdemeanor. You go to your little regional jail. Um, they might send you they might send you a little bit you know somewhere else in the state. But no, nah, they sent Michael Vick to Leavenworth, straight up fucking Leavenworth just to make a fucking example out of him like this is this is the shit that happens every fucking day like i mean yeah. like, seriously and it's what what what's worse about it what's about it is that someone can hear his story and say well he was already on probation what else did he do like and 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 just leave it at that and that's pretty much what happened like you know people look at his story but most people didn't know his story until he had already taken his own life and, yeah, and most people you hear it and then you just kind of go oh you know you know like it's one of those things like like for um for some of these videos that we watch of of people getting killed and you're just like how, we both watched the same video. How the fuck did we come to two completely different conclusions off of what we just watched? 
Yeah, yeah, because that's that's happened in Indianapolis recently. There was a guy running from the cops, and they shot him dead. And you know, it was like he didn't have a weapon or anything. He was in a car. He dr- was driving off, and they shot him. Shot up the car. Right. He wasn't trying to run anybody over or anything. And just a couple days ago, that they weren't going to press charge against the police officers for it. That, that like, one, that one lady that shot the that shot the brother. Um, shit, where was it? I can't remember where it is. But I was walking back to his car, um, and you know he 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 had. I can't remember where this was, but he had like a flat tire. He was stuck on the side of the road. The police pulled up. And they drew on him immediately. He started going back to his car. A, a, a young female officer fired on him and killed him. And like there was a fucking helicopter and all of this shit for like a guy who was just broke down on the side of the street. And not only did she, but they just announced like within the past week or so that that whole thing is going to be expunged from her record. It's not going to show up on her record at all that she killed somebody. <clears throat> You know, it's just like, you know, I, that news story posted out of the cops getting off for it. And, as you know, you know me, I read the comments to see what all these stupid people are saying. It's like, well, he should have ran. He should have ran. It has nothing to do with it. <laughs> right. He wasn't hurting anybody. Trying to run the cops over. He's trying to run the cops over. Then, yeah, shoot up the car. But he was driving away from the police. <laughs> right. It's, just, it's crazy. And, like, you know, like with all of this stuff, like, I don't, it, it, It drives home, it drives, it drives home the point about the, 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 the kneeling protests, but then, but then, you know, of course people make it about the anthem and the flag and all of this other shit. I keep telling you, like, it's about like justice reform. Like we're not treated the fucking same people. And then people will just go, no, because you're disrespecting our flag. You're disrespecting our country. You're disrespecting our military. And it's like, no, it's not about that. And then it just keeps being a circular fucking argument and like nothing about this. And that's why these people are kneeling. Yeah. It's like, you know, this is a show that I know I have right privilege. I ain't got to get, I don't have to give my kids the other talk about, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's the sex talk. I ain't got to worry about, you know, <laughs> you're black. You got to watch out, you know, <laughs> it's just like, it's, <laughs> if I had a son, I don't even, I look, I don't, if I, 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 know, I have a daughter and even though they're being killed also, especially, um, especially in the the gay and trans community. So I don't want to diminish what, you know, them and what I'm going to say. But if I had a son, I don't know if this talk with him with dry eyes. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Well, you know, I mean, I'm a prime example of that. I mean, a, month, a few months ago, I got pulled over and, you know, long story short, uh, I had my license plate stolen a few years ago. Well, when I got my replacement license plate, they gave me the same license plate number. So I got pulled over for driving on a stolen plate. And, you know, I've, you know, pulled out a car, you know, I've, from what I know, there was no guns drawn on me or nothing. And it's like, you know, all I got was walk back to the, to the car I mean, with your, you know, hands behind your head, walk backwards. And so I got four of my kids in the car with me. Right. And it's like, you know... I didn't fear for my life at all because, you know, <laughs> and I had a conversation. I had an officer um, roll up on me with his hand on his gun because I drove around the corner with my parcel. Yeah. Like- and, and I probably would, I probably would have gotten drawn on if my, if I wasn't already at my destination and my cousin didn't see the flashing lights and walk outside and ask, ask is everything as loud as she possibly could because she knows. Like I would, I probably would have got drew on for that. That's crazy. Like, yeah. Okay, what else have you been watching? Hopefully, it's not as the. Well, yeah, yeah. So that, that's cool. yeah, for one, I wanted to ask you, like, when you're looking through your Netflix queue, are you like, hmm, what's going to make me depressed and pissed off? <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the worst part. He he said he started this shit. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, now, so, now, now, you still, you, you still, you still work at Walmart, right? Yeah. It, it's not like you'd like, you're not like a cashier or anything. So you're not just dealing with people all the time, even though like people come up to you, right? 
Yeah. But, you know, so it's not necessarily the same. Like, I I don't know if I could watch any of this stuff at work and see all of the people that I see and have to deal with shit <laughs> with, without, like, falling the fuck apart. I guess, I mean, I work in a, I work in a, like, a nice neighborhood and, you know, probably work with anybody, any minorities. So, you know, I got, I got, I got to hear all about this whole oh, NFL, you know, protesting the flag and all shit. I'm like, ah, uh, shit. And you like to, don't 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 talk to me about it because you ain't gonna hit like what I gotta say about it. Yeah, because technically, technically, you have you you pretty much have a lot of the black stereotypes going for you, even though you're not black. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you know, yep. you know. I mean, just uh, you you still smoke cools? Uh, no, I smoke uh, camel menthol now because they're oh, cheaper. Oh, you switch you switch to camels. Um, yeah. You, uh, you, uh, Nigga smoke camels. Uh, got 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 a got a baby mama. Um, you know, got how many kids you got now? It's, uh, six total, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> got baby mama drama, all that shit, yo. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you, dog. Go ahead. Oh, let's see. <laughs> then uh, I'm trying to think of something else I watched. Oh, it's it's another thing on Netflix called American. I've heard about this. It's a it's a kind of a spoof. It's it's a mockumentary, but it's made like it's it's a real documentary about this kid who uh, vandalizes teachers' cars by sneaks on them. So I'm watching the trailer for this, and I thought it was a real thing until they're like, "Who drew the dicks?" And then all of a sudden, hashtag who drew the dicks? So I was like, "This this can't be real." <laughs> I heard an idea from making a murderer. Yes, I mean it's. I mean this. This show is so in depth. It's just like, I can't believe this is. You know, it's fake because it's just like so in depth. I mean, there, there's one part where uh, there was a party, like a few. Days, so the two kids that are making the documentary are reviewing like everything on Snapchat, Instagram, all these videos from this party, and they end up seeing the spray paint can, spray paint can around this party for this whole episode. <laughs> Trying to figure out who took the, the spray paint can. <laughs> hey, there's there's a whole bunch of shit like the the kid that supposedly saw the the kid doing it. I, they were trying to disprove his credibility, so, so supposedly he got a hand job from the prettiest girl in school at band camp. So they <laughs> tried to debunk that. Wow, it's kind of it's like it, well well there wouldn't be a making a murderer if it wasn't for cereal, right? Yeah, right. Did y'all listen to cereal? I've heard it. Yeah, I, just, I, I, I never I, listened I, to it. Oh my yeah, god, I listen, listen. that cereal was fucking good, yo. Like it was so, like cereal was so good. Like people who listen to cereal, because like at one point it was like the biggest thing in podcasting. Um, people were going to the real locations looking for fucking clues. Like, bruh, it's <laughs> it is seriously, it's 2015, bruh. Like this shit happened in '99. You ain't gonna find no goddamn clues. <laughs> <laughs> like. Yeah, what what kind of hit home with me with that is that a lot of the shit they would do is the shit that we were, that they were just talking like, yeah, we would go chill at the park. And I was like, oh my god, this is just straight up. Just this sounds like people that I went to high school with. And you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it was just so how, how they reported on it. They, they was, you know, you, you kind of like like how a documentary would be, but um, but a lot more uncensored, I guess. To where it was just um, it just felt more real. I don't know. I, I know <laughs> that's how they um edited it to make it to be that way, but it still it is it was really good. And I listened to the second season, which was the one about Bo Bergdahl. But I did, I I it 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 had, like the first season, like it didn't right. catch me at all. I was out after like two episodes. I think I was. Done. And I heard they have a new. I don't know if they're doing. They might do more serial, but I know they have a new podcast called s town and they kind of did that in a in that way to where they just released all the episodes at once but i haven't listened to it and then and i and then i watched making the murderer i was totally in on making the murderer even though making the murderer is kind of fucking boring yeah. it was still is is like but you still like want to know everything and let's be honest that nigga did that shit now I'm yeah. not saying that Brendan was really a part of it. Brendan just seems like he's fucking stupid. Um, and they, you know, they got him caught up on some like silly shit. But yo, that nigga did that shit. 
I don't care what nobody say. I think he did that shit. Real deal. I think he did that shit. <laughs> yeah, I remember not- you and Pimp like wax fill or something <laughs> like that shit like <laughs> crazy there was a whole episode, just like did you <laughs> when I was you didn't watch making a murder uh uh-uh. oh my god it's 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 slow but it's so good like it's so so good and it's, like there's things that i, I should have watched else was watching it but like a lot of shit was going on and and um just i, I just hardly had any time to sit in there and watch something like if i had the time to watch something i was going to play a game you know what i mean so, but I, I've been this year a bunch more stuff. So, yeah, I've been watching much less stuff. Um, um, but we can get to that in a minute. You got you got any more? Uh, the only thing else I watched is I just finished uh, season two of Stranger Things today. I never, I never watched season one. Oh, you should have uh, It's a shame. But um, but yeah, I watched like half a season two so far. But but that's because me and Amber want to watch it together and to sit down and watch it. You know. It, it, you got to say, yeah, I, I, I couldn't wait on my significant other because she works third shift. So I was like, you know, what? I'm watching it. I'll watch it again with you because I yeah, know it's going to be good. I had to start. I want to go to Target. I had to and, and, go ahead. Uh, sorry to cut you off. At Target, they one of, of of Stranger Things in a, the, the Blu-rays are in a case that looked like a VHS tape. And I was like, that is so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I was always a big thing on packaging. Like back in the day, I would get like Criterion Collection DVDs. It was like had this nice packaging and shit. So it kind of like strikes that nerve a little bit. <laughs> you know, even though it's like available on Netflix to watch it. But because <laughs> I heard, look, that's definitely some white people shit. Because I heard Scott get really fucking amped when you said that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was half tempted to buy it today, but. Uh, I seen that we had a uh, the or uh, Plan of the Apes trilogy for like ten more dollars in the actual Blu-ray for just the War of the Planet of the Apes. Like you know, I'm gonna buy this instead. We only had one one left, <laughs> so I'm gonna watch that this weekend. Um, oh, I outed you on a podcast. Not to, um, I think I was on a single simulcast, and we were talking about um about songs. That that evokes something in us based off of our you know based off of our uh, our our um, our race I guess you could say um, yeah. because I was talking about like if if you're black if before I let go um, comes on like there's two parts that you have to sing like there's you know like you don't have like there's no you don't have a choice um, but I was talking about how you love like. Um, Midwest hip hop and all of this other stuff, but when we played rock band together, you couldn't stop yourself from screaming "Living on a Prayer." <laughs> <laughs> like you just couldn't stop yourself. You couldn't help it. No, <laughs> you got out of it. That that was before we had the conversation about you. Uh, you uh, listen to all this white people music and you know going to see <laughs> Billy Joel and shit. Like you know. Okay, let me ask you the Billy Joel thing. Is it because yeah. you see Billy Joel, or does your girl really want to see Billy Joel? Uh, that's me. <sighs> it's one of these things where, like, you know, I listened to him when I was a kid, and it's like, you know, it's like there's people I listened to as a kid. I always wanted to see, I always wanted to see Prince, Jackson, and, you know, I never got a chance to because they're not around anymore. It's like, well, Billy Joel's going to be in concert here. For the first time in like twenty something years, I was like, "Well, I'm going to go before he dies because you know I'm please, not going to miss out on chance." Please tell me you're not a Beatles fan. Yeah, they they have some songs that are good, but I'm not like. I oh, hate you. I, hate you. I like the psychedelic <laughs> era. Just some of that stuff like is really fu- some of that stuff is really crazy on the Beatles rock. I've never been a Beatles fan ever. I had more of a respect for the Beatles after the Beatles rock band, but I still ain't a fan. I just like psychedelic music in general. You know, I I would say I like like when it comes to psychedelic music, I like The Doors and The Doors. But um but yeah, The Beatles definitely I don't, did I, their don't share. I don't know too much of like I don't know too much of the psychedelic white people shit. Like you know you know what's it? um that's like the like like y'all kind of shit um that that is like if you if you if you really in the mood for it, that shit is that shit is like it hits hard. Like when you're really motherfucking white rabbit. Oh, definitely on an airplane is the ship. Yeah, I mean, and then of course everybody knows uh, somebody to love from um, from the cable guy, but um, but white rabbit. The, it, like if you ever see them, like that shit is so fucking like creepy 
and <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's so fucking creepy. But White Rabbit, that shit hits. That shit hits hard, bro. I'm with you, dude. We're just gonna let that sit. Just let it sit. Right there. Just let, let it sit. Yeah. Right also, a big Hendrix so. fan. Big who fan? Hendrix. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Hendrix like, I don't know. Hendrix don't count. Well, he's, he's he's one of ours. <laughs> it's still psychedelic, man. No, fuck that shit. He used to play. He used to, he used to play guitar for the Osley Brothers. He's ours. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that shit. He's ours. We're not letting you take him. Psychedelic fuck doesn't that. mean white. <laughs> I know, it just but, means trippy. You no, know, but like, but see, our our version of psychedelic is the funk. Like, you know I me, mean? yeah. and I know I know you're a funk fan. I know you're a funk fan. Oh, but our yeah. our version of psychedelic is the funk. Like, but we're not talking about the same kind of psychedelic because I'm talking I'm talking about you know that white people shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> what, what you got, Chase? What I got? What you watching? What oh, you, you what? Are, what the fuck are you eating? Boneless chicken wings. But, uh, it's, but ten, yeah, it's um, 10 o'clock at night why the fuck are you eating boneless chicken wings I, I'm podcasting I've, I've been drinking a little bit and boneless chicken wings you told me to wake the fuck up okay. so I woke the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> damn it now that, song, the, um, now that Killer Army song just popped in my head you're welcome <laughs> but but yeah I was um, watching I don't know what I was watching because you don't give a shit but <laughs> truth but yeah, if you notice, I'm I'm usually quiet when you start talking about this shit that you watch, and I'm usually like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like I'm not really listening. Go ahead. <laughs> Scott might be interested. You know, he's white now. <laughs> yeah, I was watching Fate Zero. It's uh, it's really, it's really dope. I really, really like it. it um, I, I've kind of been going through some of the cinnamon. I almost said cin- cinnamon, but some of the um anime that's made by this uh one writer. And um, I heard that Fate Zero is one, and then it's kind of about that. There's like this war for the Holy Grail or whatever, but to make that like to where people aren't just like killing each other, they make this like kind of proxy war to where there's these certain people that can go out, and then they're assigned a, a servant, which is someone from like history or something, but they don't know exactly who from history. It's, it's kind of almost like these avatars like one's like saber and one's writer and whatnot but who exactly they don't really know but it's really cool because it's like kind of mixing a little bit of like you know like historical figures with like modern day and it's really violent and which i'm i'm down with i'm not really down with the kitty type you know dragon ball shit i mean i probably would have if i grew up with it but now that i'm since i got into anime as an adult I'm not going to go back to the kitty shit. I, mean, I want something <laughs> that's more mature. So Fate Zero is definitely that. So I, I actually, since you kind of like um, Castlevania, you, you actually might dig it because it's definitely along that vein. Not so we good. I'm going to make you watch it. No, the fuck you're not. I mean, especially if it's not on Netflix. If I gotta watch, if I gotta watch it through it, that weird it's fucking on, app, it's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Okay. I've been watching more stuff on Netflix because I can download. Right. And I like at work or something and if i'm not like near wi-fi or something i can just watch something i downloaded on netflix but i'm probably and, gonna, i'm probably gonna make a mistake here but i was halfway listening so i don't even know what the fuck you're talking about getting ready to tell me now now i have to pay attention to this shit it's called fate zero or fate x zero is how they but there's two fate shows on netflix one's fate stay night and one's fate zero face is a video game and then fate zero was made as a prequel to that and then they made Stay Night into an actual anime, but I heard that that wasn't as good. But I ain't never gonna. I, I don't know if it is or not. But I know that Phase Zero is badass. Oh, okay. What else you got? And in Stranger Things, we watched we watched um first half of that. So cool. That's, yeah. all, that's all you got. You want me to have some more? No, actually, no. Um, I have been <laughs> watching. Um, I'm I'm almost caught up on uh, my my ABDC TV shows. Um, I'm caught up on all of them with the exception of Supergirl because I still to this day have no idea why the fuck I'm still watching Supergirl. It's <laughs> only because here's the reason why I'm watching uh, Supergirl because. All of the shows are on the same channel now, and I know there's going to be crossovers, and I don't want to be lost on her part. That's the only reason why I'm watching Supergirl at this point. 
Well, there, there's your reason. You're like, I don't know why. But I'm, I'm not, it, I'm not enjoying this shit at all. Like, there is no part of me that's enjoying what I'm watching. Instead um, of watching, instead of watching Supergirl, you could be watching Phase Zero. No, the fuck, I can't. Um, <laughs> but, um, but, but yeah, I'm watching those. Um, God, f- my girlfriend is finally through uh, the first two seasons of Daredevil. Um, I watched, I watched a few episodes with her here and there. Um, and then um, she she loves uh, Jones. I don't get it because I thought Jessica Jones was okay. I thought it was all right. I didn't. I, mean, I'm, I, I didn't hate it like Blue did. But um, but like I be hate. Yeah, Blue hit me and hate her all the time. I'm like, what the fuck? Like I just <laughs> you know I don't actually hate on stuff like your anime shit. I don't actually hate on your anime stuff. I just know it's not for me, so I just dismiss it outright. I don't like like talk about oh fucking anime with fucking <laughs> you know uh, uh very girly prepubescent boys and you know big fucking swords for no goddamn reason. Like that's not what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I just kind of did it, but that's not what I'm doing, you know? Um, so, so like, I just don't, you know, it, I just know when something's not my thing, and I'm just like, no, nah, I'm out. And I do, I'll leave it at that. But Blue be hating, and then be calling me a hater. But anyway, um, but yeah, she's she's on Jessica Jones, and I can't wait till she gets to like, Oh, that was, my, that was my favorite series out of these so far is Luke Cage. I love uh, Luke Cage. Because you're black, um, <laughs> like all, all black people love that one the most. Let's be honest, we all love that one the most, except Knox, because that's Daredevil more than Luke Cage. But, um, but, 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 but all of us black people really love that stuff. I know you're, I know you're in the process of reclaiming your whiteness. I, I get it, but like, there's still a black part of you that that, and that's the part that really likes Luke Cage. Like Luke Cage was my shit, and I warned yeah. her. I was just like, yo, when you get to Luke Cage, like Luke Cage is really good. But it's also really black. Like, really black. And she was like, black how? I was like, it's black. It's like, you can't, there, is no, there is no other way to describe Luke Cage. Like, Luke Cage is so black. Because, like, almost almost all of the characters are black. Type um, era, you know, like, you know what I mean? So, it, uh, it kind of tried to... Well, the music is very black exploitation, but the rest of it is yeah. kind of not. The music really is, um, and you know, like the what the war well, really is not necessarily the music. Music because the fact that it's set in the club and you got all of these acts and stuff like that that come through almost every every time that there was a guest appearance by someone that's, that's in music, I was like, yes, that person, fuck yes, that person. Um, but so I really fucking dug that shit. And I can't wait till she Your watches. Billy that Joel show. was in it, huh? Your Billy Joel was on on um, Luke Cage. Fuck no! <laughs> we, we, we Stevie Wonder around here. We want somebody to play the piano. Is Stevie Goddamn Wonder? <laughs> the last he's. I mean, really, like Stevie Wonder is kind of the last like treasure that we have that's alive right now. Like, because <laughs> everybody, everybody else on that level is going except for Stevie Wonder. Oh well. <laughs> this is gonna sound bad, but this reminds me. <laughs> ha- hashtag Stevie ain't blind. Yeah, he ain't blind. He ain't blind. This, 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 um, please don't hate me for having Stevie Wonder remind me of this. I don't know why it reminded me. And please don't say just because he's black. <laughs> but we, um, but we, we did watch. I, I, I did watch something else, which was the uh, Def Comedy Jam twenty five. <laughs> um, I still ain't watched that yet. I, I dug do. my white, I my, dug white it. my white co my white young white Mormon coworker hated it. Well, of course he did. <laughs> right. But if you're going wanting pure Def Comedy Jam, it's not going to be that. It's more of a celebration of Def Comedy Jam with some Def Comedy Jam in it. You know what I mean? Right. So is it more clips or people actually performing? It's it's both. It, they they have the clips. But they um they do have some performances. the The best one, or at least the best moment for me, was with Dave Chappelle and D, because that wasn't scripted <laughs> at oh, all. Man, have you seen the video? It was going around on Facebook. There's the, the outtakes from that. Uh huh. There's a there's a there's a thing where the outtakes from that, and it's <laughs> like well, so. what made it into that was just hilarious too, because he <laughs> talked about how he didn't want to. He hated reading this damn 
teleprompter and shit, and it was just it was just fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> Then you got Steve Harvey talking about something. Somebody's trying to get him to say something. He's like, man, I can't be saying that shit. Yeah, I'm all around. He was like, I'm all around all this MF and then cussing. I'm going to lose this game show tomorrow. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> but. I, 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 Harvey, the comedian. Um, like, I've seen a couple of his specials. There's a, there's a special. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but there was an HBO special where he was wearing a bright yellow suit. That shit was mm-hmm. funny as hell. Um, I think I had that on DVD. I don't I even a storage uh, a storage unit somewhere. I I don't even know where the fuck they are in that unit. Um, but I had that on DVD. That shit was hilarious. And there was one where he did a clean mega fest. It's like one of those like uh, T D Jakes, um, you know, the gospel festival type things. And he uh-huh. did a, he did a clean set. And he was still really funny. Uh, on his clean set, and then of course, yep. Kings, and then of course, Kings of Comedy. Let's say we have that somewhere. After we watched it, I was like, "She was like, are you going to like really tear these claws apart?" I'm like, <laughs> but I was like, "No, I guess not." <laughs> but I was like, <laughs> and that was filmed in Charlotte. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, it was it was a few different shows. Was it all filmed in Charlotte? Um, I know because it was it was kind of a mashup of different shows. Like it, they could have, you know, wore the same shit and kind of did the same material, you know, and then just kind of cut and pasted, you know, shit. Right, sure. But I know it, at least the majority of it was in Charlotte. Okay. Um, I and then um, what else have I watched? Um, since I've been sick, I haven't played a whole lot. I played a little bit of Destiny, but that's pretty much all I played. But I watched a ton of youtube i started watching this dude's uh stream um he was playing rim world but it was a star wars mod and i watched uh, only a weekend i watched all 50 half an hour episodes of his uh of him playing rim world huh. yeah that happened i'm a little bit ashamed of that sure. but but i've been watching a lot of youtube like a lot of YouTube. you. You keep saying you're old, but you watch as much YouTube as the biggest millennial out there. <laughs> but but see, here's the thing. Like, I'm not really, I'm not really watching. Like, it, it's not really like I'm like watching like fucking cat videos and shit like that. Like, I watch, I watch a, I watch a bunch of like let's play videos for games I don't want to buy. Um, because you know I really want to play Rim World, but I don't want to spend thirty dollars on it. I know it's only, but I don't know if I'm gonna get thirty dollars out of it. So I don't want to spend it, and this shit is never on fucking sale, never. Um, so, but so I watch that kind of stuff, and I watch, um, I watch a lot of band videos. Um, I watch a lot of band videos. There, that, there's a there's these uh, these dudes who do like a live stream every Sunday for like a few hours, every Sunday night for a few hours. I totally check into their live stream every Sunday. So I was actually watching Folk State State video the other day. Fuck yeah, man! Which one? Which one was it? Uh, it was uh, cause uh, my stepdaughter just got done with her color guard season, uh-huh. and I was like, you know, they have like entrances, but you know, it's like two minutes. I was like, here, watch the entrance for this band. And it was like them entrance and for a battle of the bands. Okay. So like, you know, it took like twenty minutes for the whole band to come out. <laughs> yeah, it's it's some of the some of them go really long. Um, Norfolk is really is short comparatively. Um, they all have like they you know they have a special way of marching when they're when they're entering into a battle of the bands. But it's in is but it's really cool. Um, I know way too much about this shit, so I'm gonna try not to say. Ch- but um, but yeah, man, that shit is I I fucking love it. If you need some if you need some if you need some shit to show her, okay. If 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 she's doing color guard, if she's doing color guard, what you want her to see. Is blast blast all right yes it is a it is a uh it was like a broadway type show where basically um you know people who were in like dci um they when you know when you age out of dci that's just it like you you can't do anything with age so they just decided to take their skills and make a show out of it like a, a, a show on a stage instead of on a field um and the color guard stuff is perfect 
It's absolutely perfect. All of it is exactly the way it should be. There's even a part where um, the, the, the color guard people are dancing and then someone is throwing <laughs> flags in from the side like off off stage someone is throwing and even though the people are in different um sections and like it'll be like three people in a row all of the flags come from the same side but they all land at exactly the same time it is like the most amazing shit like how to fuck that right the world will never fucking know but <laughs> but Bla- blast is amazing like it is like i mean for real as a show i have it on dvd that shit is fucking amazing you can find a lot of that shit on youtube but it's blast with an exclamation point. All right. But yeah, you should know that. All right. Um. Yeah, I already talked about what I played. So, um, who wants to go first? We can let Scott go. <clears throat> well, it's football season. Heel, and I'm playing. Yep. How much money have you spent? <laughs> How much money have you spent so far? Oh, so so so. I'm proud of myself. I only spent maybe ten <sighs> bucks. Really? Ten bucks. Really? All you only <laughs> spent ten bucks. Yes. They like, go ahead and tell the truth. No, I've only spent about ten bucks. Really? Yep. I don't believe you. How yeah, much it was it was Scott that you were talking about about the mind when you were having the the NBA um, talk, right? Well, no, no. Scott uh, does the ultimate team stuff on football. He doesn't he doesn't really play the basketball as much as the football. But um, well, you, but you were talking about my. I know I know yeah. quite a few people who do who do the microtransactions in basketball, but uh Scott is the person that I know that actually spends money. How much did you spend on the previous Madden? Uh let's see. I would say Madden seventeen, I probably or oh, sixteen, I probably spent close to four. Exactly. And then last year I spent probably two hundred. And this year I was like, you know what? I'm tired of spending all this money for something that I don't get no returns over, so it's like yeah. <laughs> See, this is, the, it's, I mean, uh, Chase, this is why I didn't believe him when he said he spent $10. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just like they, they nerfed it this year. Like, I'm getting, like, these elite cards. Like, you know, it's supposed to be the best players in the game. Like, I got a captain, okay. and his speed is, like, an 82. No. <laughs> yeah. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> it's ain't, no, like, ain't no way possible. So I'm not. You got to spend that money to get a good team, and it's like, like by the time like before Bad 18 came out, I think I got my Madden 17 Ultimate Team to like a 98 overall. Shout out to Chad because like what was it? Um, he was throwing out fucking challenges on um, uh, because apparently he's like really good at FIFA. Yeah, uh, yeah. and he threw out a challenge. I guess like. I don't know whether he was in Richmond, like, like a you know maybe his baby mama or something like that, living around here, and uh, someone challenged him, and he drove to like Norfolk or some shit like that, drove to Norfolk or Virginia Beach to play someone in FIFA because of a fucking Twitter challenge. <laughs> that shit, it was crazy, but um, but yeah, shout out to Chad, but yeah, but but. But if it, that that's way too low, especially if it's supposed to be like the the good card. There was no reason why that that should be so low. Man, man it was a free card because it's tied to that uh, the story belt that they got in Madden, mm-hmm. which that was that's that's a fucking joke. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I actually watched someone play through that whole thing on uh, on YouTube. I I didn't play it. Someone played through the whole thing. Yeah, that thing's a joke. That's what they spent. Three years making that. I will mean, say the 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 live story is okay. <clears throat> the live and it doesn't have all of the microtransactions. Um, the but the <clears throat> but the the story for live is okay. Like it was, it's basically, and then like the live st- in between um uh uh setups for the live story, you actually have for uh, you know uh, Stephen A and Max from first take like recording like live video for it was 2k that was the spike lee joint right yes and the okay. spike lee joint was not that bad it just was if you were not black this your character just didn't fit at all <laughs> like you know like you create a character that looks like you but all of the other actors including the chick that's supposed to be your twin sister are all black they could have fixed that they could have just had like, different. They could have just had different models based off of which race you picked. You know what I mean? Or like, even if they didn't do that, they should. They could have fixed it by just not having a twin sister. 
That's true. And then you could have just, you were adopted or something. But since they said twin sisters, pretty much, well, you pretty much just nailed that in the head. Right. And she, and, and she doesn't, it, I mean, and then no matter who you create, it's not even like the default character looks like her at all. It's just, mm-hmm. you know, they, they don't, I mean, like the default character doesn't look like her either. So it just all kinds of, this all kind of like weird. Um, I have not, I have not played 2K this year at all, but I did play live. Um, and I just, the trials on EA Access, it just looked like it was like more like the, the my player mode. It's like, eh, I kind of want to try the game out. Not the my player mode, but I don't know if that's just no, I, how they were sounding. I, I, I very much enjoyed live. You really tell that the animations and stuff aren't as good, but I enjoyed live quite a bit. And I was I was just like you. And then Blue was like, no, you should try this. And so I tried it. I enjoyed it. I'm just waiting for it to go all the way free so that I can keep playing because I've used almost all of my numbers. <clears throat> yeah, it's like, you know, with the yeah, access, it's like I, I got Titanfall 2 for Christmas and I got Battlefield 1 when I got my Xbox One S, and it's like, what, three months later, they're on EA Access for free? Yeah, I, don't, like, I don't buy EA like, I'm not. I was like, I'm not going to buy, I'm not gonna buy Battle, Battlefront. I was like, I'll just wait till when it's on EA Access, like, come, like, uh, April or May. Right. The only game that I bought since I've had EA Access, and that's it. I have not. Yeah, I have not that's on there now too, so I can finally play yeah. that. Yeah, I I enjoyed it. I I you know I think I thought that the the hate that it got was completely overblown. Um, I ended up twice, and I'm I'm trying my hardest not to play through it again because I got so much other stuff I need to play. But I quite enjoyed it. I'm just trying Android. to figure out how they're going to make any money with EA Access. Everyone says it's the best deal in the world, which is a really good deal. Like, if everybody had EA Access and nobody bought EA games, then who would buy a bunch of $60 games are now because just spending $30 a year? It's because it's it's guaranteed money that, that they're not going to have to get back and reselling. Um, you know, like, you know, if I buy this game for $60, then I can then I can trade it in and then buy something else. And then when it gets sold again... I don't get any of that money with EA access. You have money. They give you, they give you the game for a little bit. If you want to buy it, it's discounted. But if you want to wait by the time the few months go by, um, they're not making any more money off the game. Anyway, <clears throat> you're, you know, mm-hmm. like basically when it's still, when it's still considered a new release is when they're really going to make all of their money, unless they make it in microtransactions off Scott. But, um, yeah. But, <laughs> um, but you know, so that guy, um, that guy that was that was named Manveer, whatever, uh, he worked at mm-hmm. uh, worked at Bioware, and um, he was talking about like how e- you know EA is transitioning to all of the they're not making any more single player games like, and he was they added um, they added the the multiplayer for Mass Effect Three on the behest of EA. They didn't really want to do it. But they said people spent so much money on like card packs and stuff like that, pendle money. He said that he couldn't actually say um, he was he was contractually obligated not to say how much money people were spending. But he says that there were people who had spent like fifteen thousand dollars on card packs or single individuals spending up to fifteen thousand dollars on card packs for Mass Effect for Mass Effect Three. It's it's kind of like EA wants to go back to because at one point you whenever you heard you heard EA Sports is in the game you know what I mean mm-hmm. that's what that's what you heard in your head and then they kind of got away from yeah they still had their sports games but then they got into a lot more you know single player type experiences and stuff kind of like they're wanting to get back into that just being a competitive like EA. When you think of EA, you just think of competitive, even if it's Battlefield or whatnot. It's just it's it's the, but it's the games and services thing. Pretty much, they're all doing. Um, and it's like you know, how much money can we make after we release this thing? Which is probably why Andromeda turned out the way that it is. Because it was like, well, yeah, we're not really worried about the single player. Like, we don't give a fuck if your animations are straight. Does the multiplayer work? All right, like, and that's pretty much what happened. Like he ain't give a fuck about the single player of fucking Andromeda. Yeah, that's the yeah, reason why they kept having to fucking patch it. Like Madden, I mean, you know, it's all about Ultimate Team now. Same you know, I play you. play a franchise with my friends, and it's <laughs> the 
franchise is the exact same thing as last year. They didn't it hardly add anything to it. It ain't it ain't changed at all it, because they know that they they know that they got that extra money coming in off of the ultimate. They don't have to do anything to the rest of the game. <clears throat> They're not even so, yeah, fucking this- trying. And it's the same thing with 2K. Like, 2K is not fucking trying at all. Um, live is trying because they're trying to get some of their, you know, get back up. Um, you know, so they, they, they did like, so, like, Live did like something like stupid. Like, and the same thing, the same thing that 2K, uh, 2K did for a couple of years, right? And I always wonder why the fuck would you do this? Like, 2 2- uh, when you're playing um, just a regular exhibition, like you can play with Euro League teams. Yeah. Like, there's no fucking mode where I could play for one of those fucking teams. Like there's absolutely nothing there where I can actually play. Like if if I'm if I'm a Euro League fan, like I have all of the teams here, but I can't do anything with them unless I'm just playing against somebody else. And and so so when when this year is doing that with the WNBA, like okay, it's great you have WNBA teams, but why the fuck would I use them? Because I can't use them in any other mode other than exhibition. And why the yeah, fuck would I, why the fuck would I um why the fuck would I want to play with a whole bunch of people that can't dunk? But um like seriously, like that's the reason why people don't care about the WNBA because they they don't dunk. Um, like <laughs> old, old girl dunks twice in a game, and it's like, oh my god, that has never been done before. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like I'm I'm cool. Like I I I you know they are very skilled and they are very good at what they do. But I'm not I'm not signing on to watch or play a basketball game to see a whole bunch of layups. <laughs> that ain't how I get down. You can go watch a middle school game. You want to go see that? Yeah, I mean, I watch I watch Pooh Bears I watch Pooh Bears games, and uh, uh, you know, I watch Pooh Bear game a couple of times, and I've been sent videos of others, and it's just you know, just look like they know what they're doing, and then there's always <laughs> that one kid that really knows what they're doing, and they don't like passing the ball because they're like, "Fuck y'all, y'all just kids." That's pretty much what's happening. Um, but yeah, I, but I will say, if you have EA access, try live. Like, it's it's. I mean, it's real. It's a, it's really a decent game, and the fact that you play, um, you know, the street ball games is where I have the most fun. Like, I actually got drafted for a team. I think I played for the Timberwolves or some shit like that. I tried like one Timberwolf game, and um, I was like, nah, I'm not really feeling this right now. So I went back to the street ball, and I'm having a ball. <laughs> yeah, I used to play NBA Street back in the day. My oh, brother I should make a new home court. I loved home court. I think home court was the last one, right? I believe so. Yeah, fucking home court was awesome. Um, yeah, I, I, they just came out with what's that? What's that NBA game that they just came out with? It's oh, it's kind of like um, it's kind of like it's kind of like NBA Jam, but it's a, I think it's an EA game. I forgot what that is. Yeah, I forgot what it's called. It's basically like the spiritual successor to NBA Jam. Yeah. Um, shit, I cannot. I can't remember what it is, but that shit seemed like it was fun. Um, shit, I cannot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, well, Scott, you don't have a PlayStation, do you? No. Yeah, yeah I didn't think so. I was going to say... Uh, oh, speaking of that, I got a message from Mike J. Mm-hmm. And uh, he says that when... Uh, because we talked about playing the Master Chief Collection when you get an Xbox. Uh, Mike J. Mm-hmm. says he wants to play Master Chief Collection by Xbox stat. <laughs> NBA playgrounds. Will, yeah, playgrounds. I there will. We go. I will do that. So but, yeah, yeah. Playgrounds. But yeah, I'll go playgrounds into some fucking... some things I played, which would which was kind of good. Cool, but but yeah, because I was going to ask him if he um if he had PlayStation, he <laughs> played some Destiny with us. But the um, I played about two hours of Destiny this this week. I did my flight, went and turned it in before I got my clan XP done and stuff like that. And I went over there, and I got a, a 305 chest and a 305 energy weapon, which I already have a 305 chest and a 305 energy weapon. So, so my flashpoint did absolutely nothing for me, and I was like, I think I'm gonna take a break from Dusty for a week. <laughs> so I was like, uh, I've got to that point to where it's probably gonna be a really big grind to level yeah I, levels I, when i played i played a little bit with my hunter and that was pretty much it like i played a little bit i think my hunter is like maybe a 13 or 14 now um but i was just like okay i think i'm done with this like 
like I did a couple of story missions, I did a couple of um, you know just just stuff out, a couple of things out in the world, but I didn't do much more than that. that's all. But, well, no, but um, the I know I but, know but, the, I know the answer to that because you know of course like I'm always appearing offline, so no one knows when I'm actually lurking. So <laughs> I know you're going to talk about but, the I know you're going to talk about the game that that I'm going to be bored of. But, but yeah, like in Des- in Destiny, like technically the highest level is 300, but since they have those five point mods, they, there's no gear that's higher than 300. You put a mod on it's 305, so that's how you get the, the the actual max is 305. So technically, I'm at the max, and now I'm just doing that little bit of a freaking <laughs> math game trying to get to 305. You know, I'm probably to the point to where I can I- I'll play when people. Are, or having fun because I I would still have fun if we had a game night or whatnot, but me sitting there trying to grind it out is probably not going to happen, <laughs> you know. Because I, I just don't really care. Like I I like it to the if I'm not really having fun, I'm gonna go play something that I am having fun. And I was like, fuck it, I'm going to play Persona Four again. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm not gonna really talk about it. I'm just gonna say I'm playing Persona Four again. You're not gonna say anything other than that. I, I, okay, okay, I will. Um, of course. I, I'm going to. I'm going <laughs> to play th- this playthrough. Of course, I'm, I need to every fucking game I ever play. So I, I actually thought like a a harder difficulty. I think I could. I, well, I know I can, but okay, why? <laughs> like, wh- why would I get frustrated over something that's actually pretty relaxing for me? So, um, but it is not change up my personas and I'm I love, just gonna I love how we just completely pretend like we don't hear the creepy door <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just like wow he really isn't listening he's like going outside taking <laughs> taking me a smoke break <laughs> yeah um, but but yeah I'm, I'm just gonna keep my base persona which is his lore persona or whatnot so I'm just gonna use that and I'm just gonna use the the, the party members that I got in the beginning of the game and I'm not gonna just kind of play vanilla and just chill. And I was thinking next year when I do get my PC and we can finally do our playthrough that we started last year. When I looked on the videos from last year, I actually started them in April is when the game actually starts. And I was thinking we could, I, I, or I could play a bunch in April. And then when the game turns to May, I t- play a bunch in May, you, you know, and we just, me and you can like do a persona stream for a whole year. Oh, no, we don't really have to. I think, I think we absolutely have to. Okay. Scott's like over here about the PS pants, ready for it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no cares. It's okay. I, I, I mean, no, actually, no. Let's. I don't like. Let's let's just say that. <laughs> what? Like we did all of that. We we did we. I watched you go shit, and we never actually got to any game. Well, we got we got to exposition. But actually, what made it longer is that we did like talk some shit and like <laughs> take longer on the parts than we really should have. Have we played for? Well, I played for three hours and I didn't get to any dungeon crawling at all because it was there's a lot of exposition in the beginning of that game. Right. But it really shouldn't have took three hours though. Yeah, that's why. It's- because that that was just us and how we were. We were just fucking talking. You, well, you were talking shit. I was bouncing off of you, freaking dirty ass mind over here. But, but yeah, I got a lot of feedback on those videos. We're like, hey, you, you should play this game with Scar. Like, and think of some random ass anime or what type game that I don't even play. You know what I mean? Like Dong and Ronpa or something. And then there, I was like. <laughs> Okay. I'll, I'll, what was the what was know. the what was the one that I watched you play where you were just um, knocking people naked? <laughs> uh, a keep a strip. Yeah, that's that was fucking stupid. Never do that ever again. That, that, that's what people really wanted to see is me playing really dumb Japanese games and you reacting to it. But so, but but yeah, that game is about it's about vampires and how you like kill the vampires is you have to take all the wow yeah <laughs> no it's no literally it's i mean if you've never seen that video it's as dumb as it sounds <laughs> like it's really fucking as that reminds me of a other game i've played recently i've had to play fisher price firehouse rescue 
on Nintendo. <laughs> I'm sorry. On the on the Switch or the Wii U? Uh, the Nintendo Classic. Oh, the okay. So <laughs> yeah, I hacked you, it. And you hacked it all. yours. I remember. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, I've been I've been looking at work trying to get the Super Nintendo one, but yeah, my my old's obsessed with fire trucks now, and I found out like you know I'm gonna show it to him, and every time I'm upstairs. So that's where I have it hooked up at. He wants, he's just, fire truck game, fire truck game. So I got to sit there and play it for like 10 minutes. And all it is is you go around this maze, with fire, and then, well, I won't really say it's fire, but it's just, you have to like move the truck to a certain point and get these people out of windows. That's all the game is. So it's like, it's like Crazy Taxi with a fire? <sighs> no, it's not even that. It's just like, you got like an overhead view of a map, and you got to drive the fire truck to a house that's flashing and then when you get to the house it goes to like another screen and it's like a house with like two windows parked to each window and just have a ladder underneath the window for the person to come down and it's yeah, based yeah, off yeah. the Fisher Price little people yeah, fuck that. Like, <laughs> it's like I never should have showed him this game and like yeah I'm, I'm glad my daughter just likes the same and, and fucking Roblox even though she can't play Roblox at my house I refuse so yeah one, one Roblox, of the kids are like Oh, go Mine- ahead. Minecraft ripoff. Yeah, it's-, it's not really a Minecraft ripoff. It's like a bunch of like you can you can code a bunch of mini games. It's just like it's kind of like a it's is more or less a sandbox. It's not it's it's kind of those are blocky, but like it's a bunch of mini games where you just go from place to place playing like different types of shit. Like you know, and it's like some dumb shit. Like. You know, you do one that's like a fucking fashion show where you go there and there's like a few minutes, the minutes, and you just walk around trying to find something awesome to put on, and then all of the characters do like walk down the fucking runway, and then you vote on who has the best fucking outfit. Like it's a bunch of dumb shit like that. It's just like uh, my, my, the reason why she can't play it is because I told her she's nine and she really shouldn't be talking to people online, and um she decided that she was going to talk anyway. So I was like, yeah, so you're not going to be the house. So yeah, one of my kids, he wants to get Xbox Live to play Minecraft with people. I was like, no. Yeah, <laughs> you're my, not getting, I, I think you're not daughter, getting it. And my daughter wants that shit. I, I think I might actually do that for her. I've never played Minecraft. I don't get it. Like, I don't, I don't at all. Like, I don't get Minecraft. I don't understand the appeal. I don't understand fucking... I don't understand video games where I have to make my own fun. Like, I just don't... I don't get that shit at all. And, like, so... So, I don't get the whole Minecraft thing, but I'm willing to buy it so I can play the game with her. Yes, that's what I do. I play with my kids. It's fun. Until they start fighting and blowing shit up that somebody else built. It's like, uh... Okay, we're not playing no more. You guys can't... You guys can't work together. We're not playing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was about to say that's the only time I let Aiden online like that is on. He was playing with actually little Greg, which they live in the mountains. They live in Hendersonville, so um, so I knew who he was talking to. You know, I set up the party. You know, it was definitely like a play date rather than him going online and finding someone. To- right. Yeah, I think I think um for Christmas I'm getting um either either I'm. I'm either I'm upgrading my Xbox. I'm not, I'm not buying an X like um because I don't have a 4K TV and it's a waste of money for me. But I might get an S and then she can have my original and then I'm gonna put some stuff up there. Mostly I'm just gonna buy Game Pass because it seems like it's easy. She has a bunch of games she can play. We'll call this all the fucking day. Um, it's just just the design of it. Just it just looks cool. It's the perfect size. I mean that's I didn't even get it for the 4K shit. I got it because of the size of it, and then it had a two, uh, like a, it had the one I got was a two terabyte, I believe. So okay, yeah, I got, I got a, I, I bought, I got a two terabyte external. That what really only thing I'm gonna do is basically what Knox and the rest of them are doing now because they're buying X's, um, just get his fucking hard drive and make sure everything is saved to the fucking hard drive. <laughs> so all, all they have to do is just move that over when they get the new one. Mm-hmm. So I think that's pretty much what I'm gonna. Do. Hey, I end up buying my 4K TV and could find out that my 4K TV is junk and I can't use it. Oh. <sighs> like, it upscales the 4K because it's like the lower range 4K TV. Oh. <sighs> and it's like, the 4K settings and it's like, 
you know, you cannot use this. You cannot use this. You can use this, but it's more likely going to upscale to 4K. It's like, uh, I'm not going to go buy a new TV now just to get. I don't understand the. I don't get it. Like, I don't think I've ever really seen true 4K. So I don't really know, like, what the. Is is the difference really that substantial? I don't don't know either. I haven't. They like, we got the TVs that work that show the 4K. Yeah, the picture looks a little bit better, but I heard if the farther away you are from the TV, you really can't tell. But is it like, um, like when you said the upscaling to 4K, is that kind of like if you would a 1080i TV versus a 1080p to where, because the 1080i isn't technically full 1080, you know, it's like a, it's a different, it's like interlaced or whatnot. So, you know what I mean? But when it says 4K, like I, some, some way to where you would know. But I know they're trying to trick you into thinking this is a 4K TV when it's not. But with 4K, it's true 4K, and then there's checkerboard 4K, which the mm-hmm. check, that's what they call it, the checkerboard thing, where it's like a checkerboard as opposed to, you know, because the difference between 1080i and 1080p was uh, 1080i uh, skipped lines. They, they alternated lines when it drew them on the screen. Yeah, and that's where the interlace thing came from. Except for you know, 1080p was like the full screen running at the frame rate and all that kind of stuff that it was supposed to, or the refresh rate that it was supposed to. Um, I think it's the same thing, but instead of it being interlaces, they call it checkerboard, where it's in more of a checkerboard pattern across the screen. Okay, like so, it's basically the same concepts. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same concept, but different presentation. Right. Say so yeah, it's like I'm looking at my four emails on the Xbox right now. It's like, you know, TV resolution. Your TV supports 4K UHD, but then that's a god check. Then there's a, like, I don't know what you want to call it, a I, cir- I with a circle around it. It's like your TV support setup doesn't support 4K 10 apps. However, apps can use 4K 8-bit if they support it. Then, like, the other one's like a circle with an X through it. It's like you, you're not able to watch this 4K content. Then, like, the games, it doesn't support 4K 10-bit at 60 hertz. However, you could upscale to 4K by choosing the 4K UHD TV resolution settings, which I can't. <laughs> Fucking shit. So I got to get a new TV if I want to use this thing. Like, I can't, I can't, so, I can't so do the HD. one, or you just bought an early <clears throat> one? I think I bought an early one. I want to buy a cheap one. Like, me personally, like, it doesn't, the, like, the 4K doesn't really matter to me. Like, I, you know, I know that the majority of humans don't have the eyesight to tell the difference between 720 and 1080. So I don't know, like, if are my, are, am I really gonna know? If, am I really gonna care about 4K? And that's that's my problem. And then once 4K gets adopted across the board, 8K because they were both the 4K and 8K were announced at the same time. So they're just gonna sell you another fucking TV in a yeah. few years. Um, <laughs> all right, so are, are we good here? Anybody got anything else? Cool. Um, oh, shout oh, out! I, I got, I got one. I got one thing. Okay. So I went to a e event a few weeks ago. Are you are Wrestling. you are you still in in the, Are you still in on that? No. Uh. And this this even draw me away even more. I mean, it's like there's nobody in it anymore that like draws you to it. Like, it's, you could tell it's scripted. Like, the wrestlers don't, you know, they can't, everything they're reading is from a script. It just doesn't, it, it's hard to explain. Like, I'm sitting there, you know, t- I took one of my kids to it because he wanted to go see it. And it's just like, okay, this is boring. It's not exciting. <laughs> Nothing's funny. You know, it's not like the rocks out there or Stone Cold, you know, people that were actually entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I I haven't watched, I haven't really watched wrestling since like around the time that the scorpion king came out <laughs> so uh, of like years back not a wrestling for like years and um my little cuz uh my cousin who saved my life with that cop um she's she is my co- she is my first cousin and her kids um I, you know i'm closer to her kids because she's much older than me um so, but uh her son um, was a really good student, and she promised him that she could uh, that that he would be if he got on a roll. She he would go to SmackDown. So she couldn't go. So she asked me to take him. So I went and like 
Like, all of these people, like, first of all, all of these people are generic as fuck. Like, there is no, like, there's no, like, really, like, strong personalities these days. And, like, these, yeah. they, the characters don't, um, like, really special names anymore. Like, they all, like, go by, like, Mike Brown, you know what I mean? Like, shit like that. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you know, what the fuck happened to, like, the Abominator or some shit like that? Like, I'm the fucking, like, no. It's like, you know, Michael, the wrestler. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> um, it's like, what the fuck? Like, I was like, where are all of the, the personalities? And then, like, people who were, like, sidekicks and shit when I was watching wrestling, like, like Batista was, like, the champion at the time or some shit. And I was like, I remember when he used to back up Game Grail. Like, like, what the <laughs> fuck? Like, why is this guy the fucking champion? Like, the nigga from the real world is wrestling right yeah. now. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Like I remember watching him on the real world, and he did he did his uh, fucking character, the Miz, and everyone thought that the whole fucking Miz thing was stupid. But he actually made that shit work, and they accepted him for being the fucking Miz. What the fuck is a Miz? <laughs> like seriously? Like I know him as Mike from the real world. I will never see him as the fucking Miz. Like, and th- and this is the kind of shit that they have in wrestling now. And I know a whole lot of people who are, like, super interested because they made the WWE Network. Um, it's really fucking cheap and you get all of the pay-per-views. So I yep, know people... Yep, who, I have it. Yeah, I know people who are, like, super in on this shit. And I'm just like, I don't... I just don't get it. But most of the, most of the people that I know um, that, that are, like, close to, like, our age or whatever, um, they get it so they can watch all the shit. You know what? Yeah, that's what I, Pimp when, does. When, yeah, when when I met with Pimp, Pimp told me that he pulled his Netflix subscription because he wanted to keep paying for some wrestling, um, some wrestling subscription, and it wasn't even the WWE Network; it was something else. He canceled news for that, dog. Uh, wow, that's. <sighs> Man, it was just like I went to this man. It was just so boring, and like people, like people are chanting, like it's like when is them such a thing? Yeah, like really, like mm-hmm. if you really, if you really want to cause, um, like the the most, if you really want to see, like how outrageous one person can make a whole fucking crowd, be oh, really loud and watch. Yeah, what yeah, yeah. That's like my. The, so I took my son and his friend to it, and like somebody did it. They're like, "Woo!" I was like, "No, don't do that." Ric Flair's not here; he's in a room. It's basically the um the saying "woo" at a at a at a wrestling um thing is basically the new version of the wave. Yeah. Like seriously, it's like the fucking wave because like everybody starts doing it randomly. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's like yeah, I, can, I don't get it. Go ahead. It's like the the main event was. It was these uh, it was the cruiserweights, which are supposed to, you know, like the fast guys and doing all the flips and all that stuff like that. Uh-huh. And it's like they're hardly like this holds. They're like doing headlocks and stuff like that. It's like this is not what I want to see. And it was a lumberjack match. That's where they got all the people outside of the ring. And like if one of the guys wrestling gets out, the lumberjack's supposed to throw them back in the ring. Telling the kids, I'm like, well, this match ain't going to be over with until they do the <clears throat> the lumberjack spot, which is basically where somebody run in the ring flips out and lands on everybody pretty much and you know like that happened all, all of a sudden people start ch- like chanting this is awesome it's like no this <laughs> shit is boring <laughs> there's nothing awesome about that <laughs> yeah i don't i don't get a wrestling thing like i just i i i'm i, I mean i was in it when there wasn't much else to do but yeah. when you know when and and like I used to, you know, I used to scrape up money. Like me and Sherry used to scrape to pay like her her people's like forty fucking dollars so we could watch a day of pay per view. Like I can't, I can't, I can't fucking believe that I actually did that shit and like <laughs> did it gladly. Like that's the worst part. <laughs> like it's uh it's, it sucks. But um but yeah, I can't do the wrestling thing. It's not it's not my jam. I don't think I'll ever be back um, because like. That you know, when they went from the attitude to all family friendly and shit, I I don't want I don't really want to see family friendly. Yeah, I you know like I was I was all in on DX like I, DX was my shit, but like whatever is not real fucking DX. Let's be honest. So 
I don't know. I can't. I can't fuck with it. But oh, speaking of all of this stuff, uh, there's a Ric Flair thirty for thirty coming out soon. Yes, I'm going to watch that. I'm totally going to watch that when it comes to Netflix because I'm not watching it on TV. But um, but yeah. I don't know if it's going to be coming to Netflix. Well, they they usually come to the thirty for thirties usually come to Netflix. I, I'm always surprised at how fast they come. The thirty for well, most. To I don't know if they've put any new ones on there because they've been putting them on the the ESPN app. <laughs> oh yeah, because uh, ESPN is Disney, and Disney is not a big fan of Netflix right now because they're trying to create them. Yeah. So that it's might like, be, that might be a problem. It's like the only thing I worry about what's going to happen with the Netflix series. Are they going to stay on there? Or are they moving to the Disney streaming service? Um, I think Netflix de- series should stay because they're basically made by Netflix. Yeah. So I th- they should stay, but who the fuck knows how this is gonna go? I like. I mean, we know that the movies are gonna leave. Um, yeah. But the movies are kind of place. Like some of them are available on Amazon. Some of them are available on Netflix. It's just really fucking weird. I finally canceled my Stars subscription because uh, they canceled. Uh, um, they they canceled. So I finally canceled my Stars subscription, um, and I ain't turning it back on until Power comes back. Power. Yeah, that's that. That shit was the shit, bro. Um, but all right, so I think that's it for us. You got in? in nope. Okay. Good. Because we we totally sat here talking for like two fucking hours when <laughs> when all of us was like, okay, we're gonna record for an hour. Um, <laughs> nope. Scar says that every week. The last we recorded for less than an hour. Right. Because I but that I had another show to do right after, and then. And then I ended up doing AMP. Like, they brought back AMP, and I got a, I got a call to do AMP. What a fucking show. Fucking double A. I need to, like, resubscribe to that. Yeah, yeah I, I, I did that, because I was like, yeah, I had to listen to this. I was like, this bringing back memories. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they, they hit me up, and I was like, that's, that's really... They were like, we're bringing back the show. Call Scar. I'm like... Really? Me? I get to be the one to bring this back? Like, that's awesome. I fe- It made me feel awesome. But, yeah, that was that was cool as shit. So, shout out to Double A. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, with that, um, if you're a Texans fan, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're a Texans fan, I'm sorry, because y'all had y'all hopes up. Like, it was, it was about to be on and popping for y'all, and it's not. <laughs> and, and yeah, somebody made a Somebody made a Madden team with all the guys that are injured and then, like, went to the Super Bowl. <laughs> right. There's some really good players that are injured right now, and then we got a whole bunch of, especially, we got a whole bunch of sucky quarterbacks right now. That, oh, my God. Quarterback play sucks. But, um, okay, so. Um, yeah, but nobody knows because supposedly nobody's watching the NFL anymore. Yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> fuck Papa Jack, dude. Um, um, y'all got, are y'all, y'all, do y'all want to do shout outs? Shout out to um to the posting people. You sound like you're about to fall asleep. I'm shouting out the podcasting people. That's what I'm about to do. You sound like you're on your way. To, you're, you're, you're you sound like you're on your way out. Um, Scott, you got any shouties? Uh, I mean, you know, it's been less than a year, so you know, it's, it's good. It's been a couple months. Yeah. Hopefully, we make this happen a little bit more often. <laughs> yeah, man. Absolutely. How was your boy? All right. We're not listening. Um, we appreciate you. I'm I'm really I'm really considering. I don't know if I'm actually really going to do it, but I'm really considering a Patreon because I really want to start buying that uh, vape box thing where they send you the devices and stuff. The Patreon to pay for it because I really don't want to spend sixty dollars a month on that. Like, it was paying, funny because normally people were like, I, "I want some new. We need some new podcasting equipment to make this little." You're like, "I want some vape shit." Review it. I want to review. Okay. The stuff. I don't want okay, to just okay. buy the vape stuff. I want to. I want to review it <laughs> in the different devices and and different stuff that I haven't tried before and all that other stuff. Like, I want to do that as a part of as a part of what we do because we mm-hmm. even. Though, I, I heard uh, from um, from Pimp loud and clear that every time we talk vape stuff, he's like, all right, time to clock out. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that happens. Um, oh, I did well, get to the show anyway. Yeah. So. Speaking of that, I got some um, I, st- I really started getting I started using that um, that uh, strawberries and cream stuff. And I don't like it very much. 
and now I got 120 mil that I don't really like very much. Right. But I already paid for it, so it's not like I really want to send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so I said I was gonna buy some chubby gorillas and um, it, pause. Buy some chubby gorillas. Pause. I'm about to say, and, man. And, 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 and it's a it's it's the it's the it's a bottle. But um, but yeah, I said I was gonna send you some, but. Uh, I didn't actually do because I've been sick. I've been um, vaping a lot of menthol stuff, and mm, I completely, right. um, I completely vaped all of my thug juice. Pause. But um, all of my all of my thug juice is gone, um, so I just had to order some more thug juice. And but I ordered like just a bunch of more menthol stuff to try to cl- to keep my nose and shit clear. So, cool man. That happened. So all right then. Um, so uh, for the homie Scott and Chase, I'm Scarfinger. Uh, and we're out of here. Peace out to the Warriors. Later. Peace. I like that shit, yeah, boy. I'm telling you, woke. I'm telling you. All right, I ain't going to talk.